Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and this question here is part B of question 8 from the October November 2021 IGCSE Cambridge 0580 syllabus, and this is the paper 4 variant 2. And this question is about upper and lower bounds. It says a bus travels 440 kilometers correct to the nearest 10 kilometers. Okay, so it goes a distance is 440 kilometers, and you got the nearest 10 kilometers. And it says the time taken, the time is six hours correct to the nearest half an hour. So the nearest, you can say 0 0.5 hours. Okay, calculate the lower bound of the speed of the bus. Okay, we know that the speed is equal to distance divided by time. Okay, but let me write this over here. Speed equals distance over time. So we want to find the upper and lower bounds of the distance and time and then use the correct um, versions so that we can find the lower bound of the speed of the bus. So let's look at 440 kilometers first. 440 kilometers. It says to the nearest 10. So it says the nearest 10. So what we do is we take 10, we divide it by 2, that gives you 5. So the upper bound of this is going to be 440 plus 5, which is 445 kilometers. And the lower bound of this distance is going to be 440 minus 5, which is 435 kilometers. And similarly, for the time, you've got the nearest 0 0.5 hours. So we take 0 0.5, we divide it by 2, that gives us 0 0.25. So we can say that for the time, we've got 6 hours, and the upper bound of that is going to be 6.25, and the lower bound of that is going to be 5.75 in terms of hours. Okay, um, now, what's the reason for that? Let's just quickly go through an explanation for that before we move on. So, of course, we haven't finished the question yet, but imagine you have your number line, and something rounds to the nearest 10. Okay, so it's got 440 to the nearest 10. So that means it could have rounded to 450, 430, but it rounded to 440. Okay, so it rounded to 440. Okay, it rounded to 440. That means that it could have been anywhere between these values, so it ran to the nearest 10 to 440. So it could have been anywhere between 435 up to 445, okay, and it could have included 435, let's call that the, the distance. It could have included 435, but it wouldn't include 445. But when we talk about upper and lower bounds, we mention, um, for the upper bound, we mention that value and we include that value for the upper bound, okay? The upper bound means this. It means everything just before 45, 445. Because if I round this to the nearest 10, it's going to give me 450 because there's a 5 here. However, what the upper bound means is everything just below this, okay? So it includes 440, um, you know, 4.99999. So you have to mention this as your upper bound. This is the upper bound. And this is the lower bound. Okay. Similarly, with the time, we can have it's rounded to the nearest half hour to six hours. Okay. So that means it could have rounded to five thirty. It could have rounded to six thirty. Okay. But it rounded to six. So it's anywhere between these two values, which are halfway between five thirty and six, and six and six thirty. So that's five forty five. Okay. Five forty five. Okay. Which is basically you know, let's say this. Let's let's call this five and a half and six and a half, so we can t in terms of um, hours only. So this is like five point five hours, and this is six point five hours. So this could be five point seven five up to six point two five. Again, the time would include five point two five, but it wouldn't include six point two five. But we call this the upper bound. Okay, so this is the upper bound and lower bound of the distance and the time. Now we want to find the lower bound of the speed. Now, when we have a calculation involving up and lower bounds, we have to think about what will give us the lowest possible value 
when we are doing that calculation. Now, when I'm dividing two numbers together, all right, and I'll get the smallest possible answer, and I can choose these numbers for my numerator, and I can choose these two numbers for my denominator. So out of these two numbers and these two numbers, what combination will give me the smallest possible answer? If I use one of these as my numerator, and one of those as my denominator. Now for division, it's basically the smallest numerator divided by the biggest um, denominator. So that's going to give me the smallest possible speed. Okay, because you have to have for division the lower bound over the upper bound. If you divide something, uh, you know, if you have the numerator as small as possible and the denominator as big as possible, you're going to get the smallest possible answer. You can kind of think of it like I like to explain to my students in terms of, say, pizzas. If you're going to have a pizza party and you invite people around, if you have, you know, the a large number of pizzas shared amongst a small number of people, everyone's going to get a large number of, uh, you know, a large number of slices each. But if you have a small number of pizzas and a lot of people invited, everyone's going to have a small amount of pizza each, a small number of slices each. Okay, so... Here we're looking for the lowest possible value. So if we have the smallest numerator, okay, which is the pizza, over the largest denominator, which is the people, you'll end up with the lowest possible value. So for the speed, the lower bound of the distance over the upper bound of the time will give us the smallest possible value. So we're going to divide 435 by 6.25. And that gives us 69.6, 69.6, and this is kilometers per hour. So there's the answer for the lower bound of the speed, 69.6. Okay, so I hope that was understood. Okay, that's a very important topic about upper and lower bounds. Now, other questions on this paper, um, which is the October 2021 paper 4, 42 from the 0580 syllabus can be found in the playlist over here so you'll find 8 part A and all the other questions from this paper here other questions from this topic of upper and lower bounds can be found in this um, playlist that should appear in this area you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon